Hey, what's up everybody? William here with AR15.com. So today I want to do a video on a Coltac suppressor cover. This is a pretty uh, useful accessory that you can add to your suppressor to help with a couple of things. One, it'll protect it from getting kind of beaten, scratched up. Uh, two, it'll protect your hands in case you just want to handle the gun or touch it, or especially if you want to remove it. You know, a lot of suppressors you can use on multiple hosts, but then by the time you get them all hot shooting, uh, they're kind of a nightmare to try and swap over to a different gun. And the other thing these help with is uh, Mirage. So if you're looking through a scope on a rifle that has a can on it, um, these can help kind of force the heat out of the ends a little bit, and it helps mitigate the uh, mirage effect of uh, the heat coming off of the can. These are made specifically uh, per can. Coltac will ask you either the uh, exact model of suppressor that you have or for some dimensions. Uh, I think actually both. And um, so I, I went ahead and had this made for my hybrid. The hybrid is a 46 caliber uh, universal style can from Silencer Co. Works on everything from like 380 up to 300 Win Mag. I've got it here on a 300 Blackout SBR. And we've also got a 16 inch um, Remington 700 over there that we'll try it on as well. And um, that one's got the scope, so I think uh, maybe we'll try and heat it up on the blackout, try some subs, and then maybe run several supers through it and try and get some heat into it. And then we'll go ahead and use the cover to actually be able to handle it and take it off. And then we'll add it to the uh, Remington and look through the scope and kind of see if we can get any uh, indication that the Mirage has been mitigated. So let's open it up here and take a better look. It's got some insulated material on the inside in addition to like the nylon kind of that you would expect. So see how it's got like a uh, rubbery kind of a sleeve in there and that does not have like a seam or anything in it. That looks like it's just one piece. It feels very rubbery on the outside but it looks like a Kevlar or something on the inside. It looks like to be it. All right, so I'm gonna try and go ahead and see how easily or not this will slip on. I've never installed one of these before. Oh. Yeah, feeling rubbery like that, I thought it was going to be like kind of a nightmare to, uh, it's a little stiff, but that was going to be kind of a nightmare to get it on, but that is pretty easy. Let's check out the length there to see, you got just a little bit in the front, and it looks pretty good in the back too, maybe just the adapter a little bit hanging out there, so yeah, that's pretty cool, and it's definitely on there pretty good. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, wrap the cover around it, which seems to be pretty straightforward, just uh, kind of line this up. It's actually a black camouflage pattern, if you look closely at it. I didn't want to just get like a plain black one. I thought it'd be nice to have some sort of pattern, but then again, I also didn't want to have it uh, brown or, you know, coyote or something like that, where um, I would put it on a gun and it would look kind of stupid, depending on which gun it was on. Probably go back over and yank on each one of those uh, individually, cut the tag off, and I'll kind of yank on each one individually to make sure it's on there really tight. Now, one thing that I did is that I went ahead and tightened the can by hand uh, before I put this on. And I snugged it down pretty good. So what I want to do is put the cover on and then try and take it back off and see, do I get as much grip with the cover on as I would have, uh, you know, just with my hands right on the can. I went ahead and cinched it down a little bit better. You can see it's kind of pulled a little bit tighter around the can, but I have to admit, that freaking thing looks awesome. <laughs> it looks really good. So it does add, you know, obviously a little bit of diameter to the can, but let's try what I was talking about before. Tighten the can by hand, no cover before. So let me see if I can... Yeah, no, it's spinning on there. It's actually, I think it's spinning on, yeah, the whole thing, it's spinning actually on the can. So you could see not quite as much grip as I could put onto it just by hand. Let's see if I can actually get it off with the cover still on there. There we go. So yeah, still doable. You know, I was kind of trying to do that with one hand without holding it. So not that it's impossible or anything, but um, you can, I can get it to spin on the can just a little bit. So let me go ahead and uh, crank this thing up. We will um, run a few subs through it first, just because reasons, and then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll run, you know, I don't know, maybe 20 or something supers through it to try and heat it up a little bit, and we'll see if we can pop it off and get it over onto the Remington. All right, so we got some subsonic loaded up. We got the uh, suppressor cover on, three in our blackout here. So we'll just take a few shots with this and kind of see how it sounds. So far, so good. All right, so now I got about 20 uh, supers loaded up. We will uh, try and get some heat into this thing and then try and swap it over. It does look like the cover slid forward a little bit. Still get it loose though. But yeah, I don't know, maybe I gotta cinch it down a little bit more because uh, it does seem like it kinda 
came off a little bit. I will say that the temperature difference between the barrel and this is hilarious. Like this just feels like cloth. It feels like nothing. And you know, I can get the can off no problem. So here's the 700. We will try to get this baby to start. There we go. So yeah, that is that is a very nice. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit picky about my guns and stuff. You know, I don't like them getting all dinged up and scratched up and everything, even if I do use them. So that's probably like my favorite part about this, other than the fact that I think that uh, it'd be really nice for you know transferring it over. The cool thing about the hybrid, and I've talked about this in several other videos, is that you can use it on a whole bunch of different guns, which is great. Uh, but if you shoot it on one and then you can't touch it, <laughs> it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good. So I feel like I got it snug down. Pretty good though. Maybe I'll try one more time and uh, and pull these straps back and see if I can get the cover a little bit tighter on the can. It was no problem swapping it over, and uh, definitely you know it just feels like cloth. It doesn't feel like it's even warm at all. Looks equally as awesome on this gun as it did on the other one, which is cool. So we'll take a few shots here with the 308. Let me look through the scope here and give you guys an idea of. Not that we really got it all that hot, but yeah, it's a one to four power scope, so you can actually see the entire like back of the suppressor and the uh, cover and everything in the scope. Got one on fire there. So, get a little bit of boom, and everybody's gonna start complaining because I take the rubber right off my shoulder to cycle it. But, it is nice. These are supers, by the way, out of this 308. Very cool. Even those four, uh, four shots, even those you can feel some heat here, but uh, very, very nice. And if I squeeze it, I can get it on and off. I am very impressed. All right, so it's pretty obvious, I think, why people like these things. First of all, they do look pretty cool. And secondly, they are very useful, other than the fact that you can keep your um, gear from getting dinged up and beat up as much. Uh, yeah, it's not like it's part of the suppressor. Yeah, you can technically get it to spin a little bit, but you know, for tightening down a direct thread onto a couple of rifles like that, more than adequate. I think it's really nice. I probably have to run a ton of rounds through these to really get the uh, Mirage effect cooking. <laughs> and um, you know, it's a one to four power scope. I wasn't really shooting a long range, so I can't speak too much about that. I do know that it is true though. Um, however, as far as the um, usefulness, you know, being able to swap your can over from one gun to another, you know, a lot of these cans you could shoot 22s through and, you know, people want to put them on an AR or a 22 or whatever, especially the hybrid. That's really what it's for. The whole point of it is that you can use it on a whole bunch of different guns. So having the cover on there, I think is, uh, is really nice. So I'll put a link in the description to Coltac's website. Let me zoom it in a little bit here so you guys can get a better look at it. So you guys can go over and check out Coltac's website. They have, you know, a bunch of different, um, buckle styles, belt, you know, the little straps that go around a bunch of different styles of that and all, all kinds of different colors and patterns and stuff for the fabric. So very cool stuff made in America. Appreciate you joining us here on ARFCOM. This is William signing off.